Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm taking a bunch of these dollar store solar lights and ripping them open, testing them out, seeing how they work, and figuring out easy ways to improve them. Yep, bought 12 of these things so I could make some holiday decorations out of them, but I figured I would test them out really well first to make sure how well they worked because, I don't know, just to say I'm maybe a bit skeptical at a dollar each, I'm just thinking something might be wrong with them. And the first one's gotten me thinking I might be right. Unless I aim the solar panel directly at a light, it won't turn off. You can see on the second one here, if I turn it on and then aim it around an ambient light source, which means light coming in from the angles, it will turn off just like it's supposed to. And the next two do the exact same thing. That means we're working pretty good so far. But then number five won't turn on at all. That's not good. Considering I had all of these charged in the exact same location for the exact same amount of time, let them sit for the exact same amount of time, I would hope they would all work similar. But I've got another dud too. It won't turn on either. So as I keep testing the rest, just keep in mind, uh, this is just the test part. I am going to be opening these up, ripping them apart, and then later in the video, we'll look at what we might be able to do to make them work better and then show how they work or are supposed to work. As you've probably noticed, there's just one little LED inside of each of these, but when you look inside the clear housing, you'll notice this cone inside that's kind of got a mirrored finish. That helps to make the light spread and diffuse better to show up better in the nighttime. It actually helps to get the most out of the single LED's light source. So to answer the question, what did I get at a buck each? Uh, not too bad results. I did find that three of the 12 batteries didn't hold a charge. Most of the rest of them worked pretty well and they run for a pretty good duration of time. But it's now time to open them up, see what's inside, and get about trying to fix those that didn't work quite the way they were supposed to. I guess, just to be fair, for the three that didn't turn on at all, maybe if I'd let them run the very next day after they'd been charged, I would have found that they worked. And then on subsequent days, they would have recharged and worked again. However, for now, I'm just gonna check out four of the most common problem types that you find with small electronics like this. The main thing on the little green PCB board there, you're just checking for anything that looks like it got overheated, maybe burnt, or cracked. No matter whether these were new or have been used for a while, I would still go through the same check process if something started not working quite right. But the good news for me in diagnosing this problem is that everything inside was clean and ultimately it must be the battery that is the problem. So that's an easy fix and an easy fix that actually can result in making this much better. And to be fully honest, I bought these planning on putting in better batteries anyway. So I just took the same type of battery and went with something that would run quite a bit longer. And what do you know? Changing out the battery, the light works perfect. And that's a good sign because it worked for all three of the little LED lights that would not light up using the original battery. You may have noticed that when I opened this up, it didn't look like there was much to it. And that's pretty much true. There's just a solar panel, a switch. It has this little IC inside that pretty much runs the process, the LED light, and an inductor. I'm going to explain the basic way that this thing kind of operates in just a moment. But first, I do want to take a look back at some of the options that you can consider if you want to make this a little better or use it for something different. The battery is the number one thing, and given the price that you can get a replacement for, why not? You can also change the LED color, or maybe even add a second LED if you want to use it for, I don't know, eyes. And you can remove the body and add it to a completely different item altogether to make a new proper decoration. In order to mod it, it will help to know a little bit more about how it works. The power from sunlight is used through the solar panel to charge the battery. The little LED driver I see knows to kick off the light until the sunlight goes out, in which time the inductor, the LED driver, and the battery kick in to up the power and run the white LED. And when you look at it that way, it seems like you got a fair amount of technology for a buck. I want to thank you very much for taking time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY and let me spend a little time to light the path to better understand these solar lights. 
If you could do me a huge favor, I would really appreciate it if you smash that thumbs up, hit subscribe, ring the bell for future notifications. Please feel free to leave your comments for any mods or hacks you'd like to maybe consider doing with one of these lights. And please remember to come on back in the future because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.